So the question I want to address now is, can we grow enough food to bring us to 2050 without catastrophe? These are data from the Food and Agriculture Organization in Rome. They are estimates of the number of people in the world who are chronically undernourished day after day. The current estimate is about 925 million people. That's nearly a billion, and it is higher than the number has been in the last 40 years. 98% of these people live in poor countries. Not only poor countries. Here is something that shocked me, and I hope it will shock you. At some point during 2009, 17.4 million U.S. households, one household in seven in the United States, lacked enough money and other resources to provide enough food for all members of the household. The current level of food insecurity in the United States is higher than it has been since the USDA started collecting these statistics by sample surveys in 1995. We are at an all-time high of hunger in this country. So the question you should be asking yourself is, well, aren't we growing enough food? What's the problem? The answer is less than half of the grain that we grow goes into people's mouths. Divide the world's grain into six equal pieces. One piece we use to make biofuels, starches for seed and other industrial uses, plastics. Two sixths we feed to our domestic animals of the rich people, those who have the means to afford those animals and meat products. Less than half the other three sixths goes directly into human mouths. We could be feeding 11 billion, but we only feed half of that amount, five and a half billion, into human mouths. We put machines and animals in line before people who don't have money to express demand in markets. Hunger doesn't fit into our economic theories. It's economically invisible because people who are very poor Remember, half a billion are only living on $2 a day or less. People who are very poor can't enter the market and plunk down their cash and say, I want that. They are invisible economically. So my hunger does not affect your costs for grain. This is a problem with our economics.